Just jump across, Fred. Dive across. You got this. Dive across to that square. You you got this. Oh, oh you're going to lose. No, no! That's what happens. <laughs> That's what you get. So let's talk about Fall Guys. This game has started off as a huge hit with over 1.5 million players logging in in just the first 24 hours of it being on sale. Fall Guys is what happens when you mix Wipeout with Jelly Beans and you have a party game. It's fun, it's silly, but it's not without its problems. It's a massive online multiplayer battle royale where you compete with up to 60 different players. You progress through different mini games until one player is crowned the winner. I believe at the moment there's like 24 courses for the games. Most are obstacle courses that have you racing to the finish line while avoiding you know obstacles um seeing people bouncing off one another or go flying in the air after getting hit with a windmill or run over by an orange it's all pretty hilarious and the races are by far my favorite part there's also memory games which are a little boring to be honest but sometimes can be kind of funny if people aren't paying attention and everybody just jumps to the one block that everybody else is on and then you find out that everybody was wrong and so they all go getting knocked out which i've actually done myself and uh, there's also team games uh, that have modes sort of like tag or soccer or capture the ball. At the end of each round, several of your competitors are knocked out until again, eventually one player is crowned the winner. The controls are incredibly simple. It's basically just run, jump, dive, and grab. But the ragdoll effects, the hit detection, and a lot of the randomness that you'll encounter is going to leave you laughing whether you're winning or losing. And even if you do get knocked out, it's super quick to just jump back into the queue and get back to playing. And I think that's like a lot of the game's charm is that it doesn't take itself seriously. It's easy, it's fun to play, and even if you're losing, you're not but just a few moments away from getting back in and giving it another go. You can play solo, and I've definitely played quite a bit of solo, still had fun, but there's tons more enjoyment in playing with friends. And even if you're knocked out, you know, it's fun to watch your friends and either cheer them on or laugh whenever they fail. The prizes for playing are strictly cosmetics. So you're just playing for different paint schemes and dressing up in different costumes. And the season actually offers a lot of these different rewards so that you get them as you continue to play. It also rewards you with a lot of in-game currency to be able to go into the store and buy what you want. So there is the ability to spend real world money on these cosmetics, but the game's very rewarding with currency. So I have had no need or been tempted in any way whatsoever to actually want to spend real game money or actually spend real money in order to buy end game cosmetics. So it's a good game to pick up and jump on if you're short on time or just want to grab a few rounds with friends. And if they keep adding maps and modes, it's definitely going to be something that I keep coming in to check up on. But I can't see myself spending a ton of time on this game after a few days. You know, the early games seem to be pretty limited so that you see a lot of the same courses repeatedly. Now, some of them aren't bad and some of them I could, you know, play every time and, and not have a problem with. But uh, due to the physics and randomness of where you start, even if you're playing some of the same levels, it doesn't always mean that they turn out the same. Doesn't always mean that you're going to be able to cross the finish line, even if it's a map that you really like. Some, though, are a lot better than others. There's maps like Seesaw that I feel like I'm playing like 75% of the time. And if you start up front, it's like super easy to go through the map. But if you start at the back, where other people have already kind of jumped on the Seesaws, then it can be really frustrating because they're like all over the place. Um, another huge frustration is team games. There needs to be an option to remove these from the lineup because it sucks if you're doing good like on the obstacle courses and everything else and then you get stuck on a team game map where your teammate sucks, you get knocked out because of no fault of your own. And so I think it would be good to have a team mode for people who are partying up or who want to play those types of games 
but I would rather just avoid them altogether. Like I kind of go, Ugh, anytime I see a team game come up for the most part. There is one game that I kind of like where you're stealing eggs and stuff, but that's kind of fun. But pretty much everything else I would skip on. The game has also had some server issues, especially since the game became a lot bigger hit than they anticipated. But that has already gotten a lot better since launch and I'm confident it'll continue to do so. So I'm not really counting anything off against the game for the server issues. Overall though, I'm happy with my purchase. I bought it, I didn't get a free review copy or anything like that. It's $20 on Steam and I've gotten that much enjoyment out of it and will continue to do so. If you're playing on PlayStation, the game's currently included with the PlayStation Plus subscription. So if, if you're subscribed to that, there's no reason not to grab it on PlayStation. If you're looking for something to kind of lighten the mood, I would say Fall Guys is a good pickup for some fast, fun action. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn.